Hey guys, alright, so last time we created a destructible mesh, and um, let's go ahead and take a look again at what that looks like, uh, just in case you're starting off with this video. Uh, when we shoot at a regular box, it just moves it, when we shoot at this one, it explodes into a ton of pieces. So that, it looks pretty cool, but it's not quite done yet, so let's take a look at what we could do to further that effect. If we um, first scroll down to physics, um, after we've clicked on the destructible mesh, we can go ahead and go into the um, physics section and um, go to show advanced and you'll find start awake. Now what happens here is when we create the destructible mesh, it stacks everything up already destructed. So if we start it asleep, it won't be destroyed. It'll have to wait until something wakes it up or hits it or impacts it before it gets destroyed. So we'll just go ahead and uncheck that to make it a little bit more sturdy um, and be able to hold weight and fall and stuff like that. So um, one of the things that we'll notice when we shoot the um, box is how impactful the event is. It destroys it, it shoots it really far, um, and that might not be a realistic impact for a standard weapon. So if we go and um, try to adjust that, I can show you how to do that. The reason that we're getting such a big um, impulse at that area is because the projectile itself is set to add an impulse. And you'll see it here, it's the velocity times 20. And if we lower that to 10, and go ahead and compile that, we can see what kind of effect that has. Now, the first boxes aren't gonna move as much, it takes a lot more hits to get it to move, and this one doesn't get destroyed as crazily. Now, I'm kind of okay with it being that big. However, actually, I have to fix this. However, I want to add more effects to it. If it's going to make those boxes fly back, let's make it actually show an explosion or something cool, right? So, um, let's go ahead and add a particle effect. So, we're in the Blueprint Manager. Let me go back and show you how to get there. Um, we go ahead and choose the twin stick projectile, which is our bullet. And in this section right here, in the main projectile, second box, we see apply an impulse on whatever we hit. And it's the velocity, it's times 20, and it's the active location, add an impulse, and that's how it works, and then it destroys the actor. So if we right click over here, and add spawn emitter at location, we get this box here. Now, um, we want it right <laughs> after it decides that it's a hit, so after this box. And we can add it after the impulse, that's fine. But we have to make sure that after it's done, it destroys the actor either way, because that bullet has to go away. So let's go ahead and execute this after, and continue it to destroy actor at the end. And then we're going to use an emitter template, go ahead and click on select asset. And we have a bunch of them here. We have smoke, fire, explosion, sparks, streams. You can edit all these as well, but we're gonna choose explosion. It's a nice default one. Now location, we wanna get the location of the impact, which is already over here at get active location. And we're just gonna drag that over here, same way. Can equal more than one location. And we're gonna auto destroy at the end as well. Make sure that that's checked so it just destroys itself once it's done. So let's compile that and see what that looks like. Oh, that looks really cool. Lots of explosions, and when we shoot this box and it explodes, that's a lot more realistic. Lots of lighting effects and everything going on. And we can add sounds as well as other stuff, and we'll get into that later, but um, we'll try to get back on topic for the destructible side of things um, soon. For now, we just made it a little bit more realistic. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the third one. Have a good day. Peace.